Hi. If you are anything like me, you're wondering if you can work with composite material in applications where it's needed to be bent. And I looked up online and didn't find much in the way of resources to tell me how to do it, except that you buy a machine or you uh, build a heater and you heat the stuff up and you bend it, which is similar to what I did. Um, this is uh, one of my projects here at the home uh, where I bent some treks. There's some railing that's been bent. And then uh, down below, I've got some skirting that I had to bend. And uh, instead of building a heater, I used what I had available on my property. And what I used was a culvert that goes under the driveway. And the culvert's about 16 inches in uh, diameter. I'll show it to you. Um, but I rented a torpedo heater. And I placed it at uh, varying distances from the culvert, depending on what temperature I wanted running through the uh, culvert and then I bought a barbecue uh, grill temperature probe and I placed the probe about uh, 12 inches from the beginning of my board to give me a, an idea of what temperature I was hitting. Here's the culvert. I was able to uh, scratch out some uh, an area in there and angle it just right. The culvert's about 16 feet long so plenty of distance for the uh, material. One of the tips, several tips I'd like to pass on to you is one is if you're working with really long pieces it's really difficult to uh, to have consistent temperature and what I did was I put a board on the other end to kind of help uh, change or um, modify the temperature and the airflow so on the other end of the culvert you can you can place an object and kind of open it and let it vent. Um, I didn't experiment with just a free flow and putting the heater closer to the culvert but you'll be able to make this work I was able to bend boards surprisingly easy easily with uh, with this method Of course I had to build my own jig and, and form my pieces around it but uh, as far as heating the material the railing was the hardest thing to heat I mean to uh, bend uh, heating it I spent about an hour and 20 minutes at 308 degrees Fahrenheit about uh, 10 inches from the uh, railing the pieces I used, I had an 8 foot section and then I did uh, two shorter 4 foot sections thinking it would be a little easier to work with, but it really wasn't. Um, they distort very easily, um, so you could pretty easily mess up your pieces if you're working with railing. If you're working with the boards, it was really easy to do a, a bend um, like what you just saw on the deck. Um, not sideways for like the, the decking, but the actual bending it. Uh, with the lengthwise going up. So, um, you know, 308 degrees Fahrenheit, so you're, I'm running around 200, 280 to 290 degrees for an hour. And that was enough to bend those boards. There was a little bit of resistance with them. They didn't, they weren't completely floppy, but they were somewhat floppy when I heated them up and uh, was able to uh, get them to hold their shape off the jig. And, um, that should do it for you unless you really need to, to, to get them a little more limber and not have any resistance in them. Um, you probably want to um, do something a little different. But just uh, it, to let you know it can be done and it's not too difficult. And the reason I did it myself is that uh, these places want to charge you $120 to, uh, to bend each board. $120 per board, which is ridiculous. It's very expensive. If you have someone else to do it, and it's uh, well worth the time and effort to do it yourself, because it would cost you a small fortune if you paid someone else to do it. So I advise that unless you're doing the railing, you're just doing boards, do it yourself, save yourself a lot of money.